tuli Boston ne Chagulanyi Center mu Robert Bobby Wine President wamu ne mama Bobby Itungo Kagajo Chagulanyi anti film uh, Bobby Wine the people's president uh, wa Boston olwalero lweragiddwa abantu be Boston abazungu bakulumulukse okuve bule newe ya baweddeyo mu kibuga Boston bonane beyiwa mu theater okulaba ku film eno Bobby Wine the people's president abazungu banyenyeze omutwe ne bewunya anti bine bikolobero byonna bikolebwa mu gwanga Uganda ere bikolebwa bino bichaliyo mu nsi bichakolebwa ku bantu abayino omukka abasa era abakulembeze abali mu Africa bachakola bintu bye nga kino ku bantu bakulembera kale film yewunyisiza nya abazungu ne bogero oluzungu olukambwe era ne balago bwagizi bwabwe eri chagulanyi center mu Robert Bobby Wine banonno balangiride nti tebagenda kuddamu kukiriza government yabo yegwanga da America okuddamu okufundinga government ya Mwai Museven nga bagamba nti bategedde nti ensimbi zaabwe nga bo abayo wo musoro ati Mwai Museven azikoze sakola bikolobero kutusa bikolobero ku banansi ba Uganda ate ba ino kukuma abazungu wabadde bakambu ngatwa sali kako musale ngabagamba chimu no 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 this can't happen amuluzungu um, lwabwe ngo bali leri mu nyindo uh, nenze bimba desibitegera bulunji engeja do bya mu nyindo nayenga mpulide nti this can't happen in today's generation how oh, human rights violation <laughs> oluzungu lunji baluogedde nena ogenda bya ulirirako uh, nga chagulanyi center mu robert bobby wine uh, yogera ko je bali uh, banyonyola film eno abanyonyola uh, embere eri mu gwanga uganda era banyonyola uh, lwachi film eno yakoledwa abadde no ne babi tungo kagaju na ye bibuzo binja abizem ayibadde bimuzibwa abalabi ba film abazungu abaze mu theater erwa klero okulaba ku film eno bobby wine the people's president Ah, uh, gaba demawa kati nsaba onega teko no bombo for which ke chawa guru tugendo wa de Boston mu theater fena tulabire wa uh, film eno era tufune ebigambo chakulanyi bya zemu eri abazungu wa na bazungu bambuziza bichi bya bichi ebiba sinzo kubanyiza era che chisalidwa we chigendo kolebwa very very soon chakulanyi yabagamba anti mujja chulira kale Hello um thank you so much ladies and gentlemen thank you for coming tonight um i must say it's the power of god that we are all here to to share this story with you today um yeah so uh i met a great friend uh, christopher sharp who uh had connected with bobby and bobby and he shared the idea that he wanted to make a film about Bobby and at the time Bobby was in parliament and he was speaking very passionately about you know change and freedom and he was uh, coming up with these amazing songs that you know were challenging the status quo and he was speaking to my heart at the time this was 2017 um and yeah when Christopher uh, Sharp my co-director and producer of the project when he shared the idea I feel like yeah this is something really huge that we have to do we have to get done you know um yeah and Bobby and Bobby are just have just been incredible to us they gave us so much access and you know there's no point where we you know we were not uh, allowed to to film and I became part of the family in fact by the time we finished filming the kids were asking what happened to Uncle Moses you know so yeah uh thank you Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be here tonight and to see you all. Uh, I feel more at home looking at the berets in this place. <laughs> Moses was introduced to us by Chris. So Christopher Sharp uh, is not here with us. I wish he was. He was born in Uganda. His parents were born in Uganda. And his parents built the hospital where I was born. So Christopher Sharp went to Mutawiri High School. Christopher was born on uh, Uganda's independence. So Christopher Sharp is more Ugandan than uh, some people. <laughs> He's more Ugandan than Uganda itself. Um, we met him through Bobby, through music, because he, of course, the roots from home, he lives from home. 
and we met uh, in his hometown and he introduced to us this idea because he felt that there is a lot that wasn't being shown to the world and as his contribution he wanted to make a big film to show the world exactly what is happening home unfiltered and censored and with no fiction that's how we ended up with this film how was it for us to allow them the cameras into our homes uh, did we even allow the cameras to come <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> Um, well, in the beginning it was threatening because there is a lot we never wanted the world to know about us. Personally, people know the smiley me. I don't think anyone has ever seen me cry. So having to allow myself to be vulnerable and knowing that the world is going to see that was a big challenge. But my solace was the fact that we all have a contribution to make towards the betterment of our country. So if allowing the cameras in my life, in my home, in all the corners of our house was the contribution I had to make, then I just had to do it. And that was my part to play. Uh, about me. Well, you're a musician. You're used to letting the cameras into your life, but in yeah. another life, and I want, I'm gonna talk about something that, that um, Barbie said, which I thought was great in the film, but t talk to us about about Moses and Christopher coming in um, and showing other sides of you that other people hadn't seen. Yeah, thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so I was hired to perform at a function. We went and performed for uh, Chris, and uh, you know, relationship came from a conversation of a client and an artist to a friend. At that time, I'd just become member of parliament, so we discussed Uganda. And then later, when Christopher watched so much that was going on around our, our lives, he asked if he could use us to tell the story of Uganda. For me, it was magic. I thought that it was important for the world to see what's happening in Uganda, unfiltered, uncensored, for so long. General Seven has spent billions upon billions creating a false image about his role in Uganda, painting a rosy picture. So he thought it was an opportunity for the world to know what is happening in Uganda. I'm very glad that we achieved that and more. I think that, I think that um, that absolutely comes true, and I think it's a really important film, especially for now when we see. I think it's like two thirds of the of the world is under authoritative government, right? I mean, we don't even, we don't even know that. We live, um, you know, for us, those of us here, we live in America, um, it almost happened. Uh, and we don't know that it can't happen again. So I think it's really important to see how, how it happens, right? And how, you know, I don't know people's politics, but the former president wanted to sort of do the same thing, right? And, and put someone in for life and, and, and make sure that you had legislation that did that. But you talk about um, you know, what happened in Uganda and the violence and all of that. And I'm really curious for Moses, and, and I'm sure that you all had very much a lot to do with the making of the film as well and, and you know, came in on it when, you know, when questions were coming up. But, we don't know any. We don't mention anything about Idi Amin. We don't. You don't mention anything about the prior, um, you know, this current dictator and what he's done and the violence. We see the violence and and thank you in a way for not showing all of that. But the, we know that it was worse, right? So so I just I'm just curious about your choices on that. That we see this picture, we understand the picture, we get this picture, but we also know that Uganda has been underneath this rule for a very long time. So can you just talk a little bit about your choice on that and your choice to sort of show these pieces um, of the film in your lives, but also what you think about that and, and what you want people to take away? Sure. I'll go first. Uh, thank you very much, and I'm very glad you asked that. I must say I was disappointed about this film in the beginning, the first time I saw it. And my question to the directors and producers was, why did you have to make Museveni look so good? Because this film 
in my view, makes Museveni look like an angel. Not even 5%, in my opinion, of the brutality and violence was shown in the film. So I was disappointed with the directors. I asked, why did you have, I thought we're using this film to show the crudeness of the Museveni regime. They explained to me and told me, well, in the West, if the violence is too much, it will be an absolute turn off. But if I'm to discuss the brutality, for example, we have a brother there. His name is Ashraf Kassidye. He was my personal cameraman that I used to move with on the car. He was shot in the head and I saw his brain. His skull smashed, that's why he wears that, because it was targeting me. Very many in the house here, we have my brother Nubian Lee. You didn't see where his face was smashed and was bleeding. So many people were brutalized and the film did not show that. However, I understand when the directors explained to me that maybe if we went ahead and showed to the full extent of the brutality, maybe the violence would seem too medieval for the Western audience. So I must say that there's much, much more than that film. And as a matter of fact, when the cameras stopped, the action didn't stop. As we speak now, the brutality continues, the crackdown continues, the violations continue, the abductions continue, the killings continue. So it is ongoing. It was ongoing. It is ongoing up to now. I don't know if I answered your question. Yeah, just in addition to what Bobby says. In fact, uh, you know, we didn't show Bobby and Bobby the film until it was finished. Uh, because we wanted as documentary filmmakers to be as honest as possible. Um, and I, you know, being on the ground, I totally understand his side of the, of, uh, you know, his, this opinion that the violence is not as much because being there experiencing that violence, it's very different from being outside, you know, being present in that space because there's violence every time and it's happening around you, it's happening to your family members, to your friends, you know, as we speak today, or as you see in the film, towards the end, towards the election, Bobby's in the kitchen and she says, our friends are in either of the, of the three places, dead, disappeared, or in jail, you know, and so many people, we do not know where they are until today. But it was a very conscious choice for us to also focus on, on their, their love story their beautiful, hopeful story and the strength they have, you know, and that also uplifts the story and the music and, you know, and keeping hope. And because Ugandans are very, very hopeful people, and I think this is one of the reasons that Museveni has ruled us for so long, because, you know, we, we love, we, we just love and we welcome people, very hospitable, and, and you see that in the film as well, you know, very um, courageous and, yeah, but yes, um, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Moses. There's this part you asked, you said, what would we want people to take away from this film? So we want the people who watch this film to know that Bobby and I are not the heroes in this film. They are the people whose names are not known, whose lives are not shown, whose struggles we don't see, but that they main players in this. It's simply because the cameras are on us, the eyes are on us, but we ride on the wings of so many that they don't see. Maybe you'll see some in the film, but because the film has a bigger portion of our lives, you might not get to know how much energy they put in pushing the struggle for freedom in Uganda. This film is not about the two of us. It's about the people of Uganda and their struggle for, for freedom. <laughs> the other thing I need people to take away from this film is the beauty of Uganda. Uganda is a very beautiful country. If you notice during the campaign, we went through different kinds of cultures, different dance, different types of food, beautiful nature, different 
beautiful people, happy young people. So we want the world to know that Uganda is one of the youngest countries in the world. 80% of the population is less than 35 years old. And we are an innovative, happy, energetic, and very, very tremendously willing to go as far as we can to have our freedom. The last thing I want people to take away from this film, <laughs> the last thing I want people to take away from this film is the strength of the women and the involvement that they have in fighting for freedom in our country. Isn't that in every movement though? Right? Isn't that in every movement? It was that in the civil rights movement. It was the women yes. behind the men who were really pushing that struggle. It's always the women. Always. 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 I want them to know that the women are no longer the cheerleaders. We are not the no, not anymore. We are fighting for those positions and we are winning the men at it and we are doing well in leadership. I want them to know that the women are taking over this. You saw in the film, they are on the security team, running with the guys fighting with the police head on regardless of the energy they're doing it so we want the people to know that the girls and the women in africa especially in uganda are strongly involved in the fight thank you yes that deserves a hand. um you, you touched on a, a couple of things that i wanted to talk about and it's true you can see the joy and the um pain as well in this film but i i wanted to sort of move this towards you bobby when you know, you're a musician and you really, the music in this film is a character in and of itself, right? And Moses, I know that you and Chris probably really thought about that, but you were using music and lyrics even before um, you started this fight and entered into the political arena to really get your messages across. So can you talk about how important that was in your beginning of your career, but also how important it has been in the struggle that you all have been pushing for for the freedom of Uganda. Thank you. The music, it's been always the music setting uh, the stage. It is the music in the beginning that endeared me to the people. It's the music that myself and my musical comrades that we used to communicate and it's music that the regime discovered how powerful it is. Um, you will notice that today my music is banned in Uganda. And that is because of how powerful music is. On the front row here, we have two musicians that had to run away from Uganda. We have my brother Ronnie Banton there, and we have my brother Kapalaga here. Those are revolutionary artists that I believe if they were in Uganda, they would be dead meat already. You know, so it's the music, it's the power of that music. And uh, glad enough, I and my team recognize the power of that music. And we used it, we continue to use it. So that music was a, a door opener. We live in a generation that is tired of the usual political talk to the extent that it's boring. But we were able to endear them to their politics because we made it entertaining. So it is the power of the music that we have uh, rode on to the present day. It's the music that we hope to ride on continuously until we get there. Yeah, I mean, I think it was just, it was so beautiful, those songs and, and that music. And so I want to go back to something that Barbie said in the beginning of the film when she said, when you said, um, how can you be Robert and Bobby Vine at the same time? So my question is, is he two different people or have those personalities merged? Um, we are yet to see another person. <laughs> Bobby evolves every day and it excites me because I live with a different person anytime, any day. And I'm excited for what is coming ahead. Bobby has so many personalities. Sometimes he merges them, sometimes he separates them and he's very good at that. All right, great. Um, she just gave me away. <laughs> <laughs> so you're all those different types of people and even more. Um, so one of the other things, too, Barry, that I wanted to ask you, and I know we only have a couple more minutes, is you, uh, one of the things that I loved about the beginning of this movie, Moses, is that we really get to follow um, their love story, right? And we get to see uh, Barbie really sort of, sort of like just 
fall in love with 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 Bobby and the two we two do together. But I'm wondering how difficult it was for you. I mean, you have a master's in human um, human rights. You are a, a published author. You um, you know you you had to you had your children that you really had to think about. And so, how difficult was that for you to leave them, to be fearful of them, knowing that Bobby was this political figure? He even says, you know, I, I could have a hit on my head at any time. How did you manage that? How did you manage that and also help with the struggle, knowing that you know your family could be in danger at any moment? It would be so easy for me to say, you know, I manage, but I don't manage. It's, it's hard. It is hard for anybody, regardless of my academic credentials and all that, but it's hard for any mother to be separated from their children unwillingly. Even willingly, right? Now they're in a hotel, I'm here, but my heart is there. And it is really hard letting your husband go in a place where you know he might not return. So you're always in the mood of, how soon am I going to be a widow? Or will I be, will I not be? Now, that's stressful enough. Sometimes I say I need, I need a psychiatrist. I need uh, somebody to talk to. <laughs> Yet, uh, but I'm happy I have a big family. I have very many friends. And the other thing that strengthens me is the women that even suffer more than I do. Because there are women whose husbands are already disappeared. There are women whose children are already killed. There are women whose children were shot at in their faces. They're looking at them and babies. They are shot in broad daylight and they haven't received any justice. So me being weaker than that woman is actually not fair. So I have to be strong. So I am grateful that I still have all of them alive. And we count every day as it comes. And I love the ending of the film when all the kids come back and you're back together as a family again. And I think that that's pretty, it just says so much about what your hope is for Uganda, that you came back, that you are still, that Uganda is still your home. So I just want to close because I, um, I only, I got the two minute sign. So um, I read that this film stands as a clarion against authoritarianism. And I think that, uh, that is so true. And I want to thank you and Chris and the two of you um, for sharing this film, for sharing your lives, for giving us hope, for giving people in Uganda hope um, that you are not going to give up. And I think that that's one thing in this film that we really see is your perseverance and your love for a country that you know at some point in time is going to turn and you guys are gonna be there for it. Um, thank you. Um, I appreciate, I don't first and foremost look at it in the beginning as love of country. I look at it as the refusal for anybody to define me or to tell me what I will be and what I know I will not be. So, in the beginning, is fighting for my personal freedom. I refuse to be a slave in my home. Only to turn around and see that what I speak is actually resonating with millions more. They say, yeah, that is what we're saying to us. I say, oh, so that's what you're saying. Then I start speaking for everybody else. But for starters, I speak for myself. And uh, I'm just glad that we happen to speak for everybody else, you know. I must also use this opportunity, first and foremost, to extend my appreciation to Nat Geo. It is such an honor to have our story, the Ugandan story, told to the world on Nat Geo. It's not every day. When I go to some conferences, I meet people from authoritarian countries going through hell. I met a brother who comes from North, who escaped prison in North Korea. Oh my God, horrifying stories. 
brothers from Central African Republic, from Congo, from Cameroon, from many authoritarian places. Unfortunately, they suffer the same way. Many others suffer even much more, but they don't have a voice. I see this as an opportunity. That's why we decided to grab this opportunity. And if it means dying, we'll die trying to make a difference. So I'm, I'm just glad that we were able to tell this story. At least we won't just disappear in the dark. And I also want to take this opportunity to send a message to our American brothers and sisters. What you just saw here, all the brutality that is happening, you are paying for it. You are sponsoring it. You might know, you might not know. But the United States government gives General Seven up to a billion US dollars every year. That is exactly what he uses it for. So we believe that at least you guys have a voice, unlike, unlike us. You can reach out to your leaders, your congressmen and women, and ask them to review their policies on Uganda. We're not asking for so much. We're not asking you to come to Uganda to save us. But just don't sponsor our death. And you can if you ensure that your leaders put conditions on the cooperation with Uganda. Conditions are as simple as the basic you know, values that we share as humanity. Respect for democracy, respect for the rule of law, and respect for human rights. That alone, if, I mean, we can fight, we know that no oppressed people can be oppressed forever. And our dictator is actually way in his 80s. So, we, can, we will, we are sure if we don't get shot tomorrow, we will outlive him. We will win him easily. But we cannot win a billion US dollars. You cannot fight against a billion US dollars. You cannot fight against American guns. So please don't sponsor our oppression. Kindly reach out to your leaders and ask them. I mean, we have uh, the internet. You can tag them on Twitter and all that. But that on the side, we really appreciate the humanity that we get. We really appreciate the words of encouragement. We have so many brothers and sisters here. And finally, I also want to salute our comrades. Those people in Red Berets, they keep us going. Those Ugandans, they send messages of hope. They call us at 3 a.m. in the morning. Are you still alive? So we are there and we're not going to give up. You will come back to a free country. I can say that without fear of contradiction. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that is the power of media. And so I'm so glad that this film has been made. I'm so glad that you all are traveling with it, that you're being able to have these conversations in the U.S. so that we do understand um, what is actually really going on. So thank you both very much for being here. Thank you, Moses, for the film that you made. You can say, well, yep, absolutely. Um, and um, good luck on, on your travels to the rest of the U.S. Thank you. Just finally, one thing I would like to say is uh, this film, what it does very well is to show the fragility of democracies. Mm -hmm. And what, you, what could happen if a democracy falls into totalitarianism. And another thing, highlighting leaders like Bobby, Bobby Wine and his wife, Barbie, um, we hope that the world can stand with leaders like Bobby. Because for the longest time, just adding on what Bobby said, um, the world has continues to stand with, with Museveni. 37 years of dictatorship. But when we see leaders that are forward thinking and, you know, um, uh, fighting for, the, uh, for freedom of expression and, you know, and, and the freedom of a people, you know, um, I think it would be terrible if the world does not stand with such leaders. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you all very much. And thank you all very much for coming. Okay, oh, you I went to Bobby White. I named Chiala Way, the Moses Boy, on a baggy. Hmm. Ah, where would you? Where would you? Where would you? Where would you? Uh, Bobby Wine, the people's president. Uh, Wano Mugwanga, ya America. Uh, Chibuga, Boston. Uh, Bantubawe Deo, Bakulu Murukse. 
kuwe ule newe ya abazungu abadugavu abona baze newe uwa mshifochino mfie teno okulaba ku Bobby Wine the people's president uh, Bobby Wine abade ne babi itungo kagaju chagulani uh, ngabage zako okulaga fili mweno uh, uh, elaga bichi evi alivu mi Uganda uh, ukuwa chagulani uwe ya ingida uh, vio ufukule mbeze paka uruwaleru Abiche bili mguanga la Uganda, abichi wana Uganda iba itamu Abatibwa, abatulugu njizibwa, abawambibwa, ababuzibwa au Abambinji, bili mufiri mweno Iranga umula maguayo, shagulanyi, sentamu Robert Bobby Wine, gwaliko ayagalanti Iguanga la Amerika na mwanga malala Gaba zungu, abawa mwai musebe na nsimbi, bachikomye mbunambilo Ntikubange nsimbi za wama M7 atazi koze sao kutaba na Uganda. Agambe stop sponsoring our death. Stop sponsoring our killing. Ntikubange okuwa gira oba okusasulira echi taba antu mu Uganda. Mkubange okusasulira echi tulugunya bantu mu Uganda. Mkubange okusasulira echi tugumbula bantu mu Uganda. Abigambo bia chagulanyi senta Robert Bobby Wine. Uh, Ngayogira keri ya wazungu uh, na wana Uganda Abetabie mkulawa film weno ya Bobby Wine People's President uh, Ngaba totola ilanga ayongira ukuba gula masu Tiba mba mbadeyo mkamfati zone uh, Ngamulo oza ibintu biangunyo Elia Uganda tulipu vitu likumuliro Umuliro gocha, umuliro guna atiru kwa Chintushina atiru kubaruka Norecho Mustukirem, mutaseta asembera. Asabie, abazungu, waba nansiba Amerika. Okulaba nti, uh, balu mba, haba kulembeze babwe, uh, kumitende legenja ulo. Baba gambe, nti, aichiri ya Uganda chizibu, aichiri ya Uganda chocha na ukuta chita. Nti, ensimbi, ze mwa Uganda, mwaimu seven. Buli mwaka, hatazi koze sabubi, kutugumbula wana Uganda. Norecho, mkumie ukuwa ensimbi, mwaimu seven, abere yala. Nti, mwaimu seven, wanaba yala, uroate, Bana Uganda, badja kusubula okumuja kukule mbeze, badja kusubula okumuja kuntewe, elaba subule okuya galira mwusi yawe. Abigambo, bia chagulani, senta mlo bati Bobby Wine, ngaline babi, hitu ungoka gaju chagulani, ngabagezako ukuto tolenso, ngabagezako ukulaga evi chamu, evi genda maso mguanga Uganda, nche ukule buwa government ya mwaimu seven. Abazungu, firmu eno bajisime, Ira uh, nebagamba, nti chagulani senta mrobat, Bobby Wine, chasabe, uh, echo kuwa nti balina okusinka na haba kulembeze wabwe, babagambe, tawadamu kuwa mwaimu seven nsimbi, bagambe bagenda kuchikola. Bagambe echo, bachiri nyoku kunid, ira wagenda kufuwa, ukula wanga bachikola, ira wanga bachitu ukiriza, ukula wanga watasaba na Uganda, ukula wanga watasaba Nancy, bale meo kufira wwe magi. Ira nti, uh, bagenda kutika kazi stoku, president wa, wa Amerika, uh, naba na wakula uh, wakufuna njizibwa kukuola mwa msebe na kukumuwa nsimbi uh, nti bachukomi mbuna ambilo bachukomi ya mangu ne ambilo uh, te obula mbuwa wana Uganda buwone buwone zewe wana Uganda balime kubanga batibwa balime kubanga batu lugu njizibwa uli orukede uh, nti eno fili mwe wakute konyo inaba gamba nti wache evi mba abijamu bandi jile se fili mwa wantu nibaira libido ila evi chie bitufu evi gena dana mbuanga da Uganda Neti mategeza nti chandi susobo mlamuzi, chandi bade chivayoleti ngata ya mateka ga internet wa mateka ga film Monsio na nore chivasa lao ni bajamu kwewe wiko la meaning na yenga vizito vikaluwa uh, Na yenga filmu ye nyuma, filmu ye oma kwa wazungu bonge duka kasiza dada vitu febili mguangali ya Uganda Mbubuliju wa maniyomu Uganda dikiteto omu idamini dada Buneka ticha gulanya ataba la ze dikteto mulala Nisugi wa dita wimanyi Mwami Museve newe di kaguta Ntiyo na te dikteta muzibu nyo Dikteta ate mubaya Dikteta ate mubinyo Bobi wae ni agena mwangala Amerika Kula anga tambuza film weno Bobi wae the people's president Mwangala Amerika di ona Kone conference Kino kubayo mwangala Amerika Otani kama kuminanya kwenye tano kuminamukaga Aha Ya nupu Conference, nope, diaspora conference Aha, igenda kubira yeso Tojisua, chagula nyoluva mubino Evi ya ukutambuza film Ata agenda kubaye tawabu televu mkonference Igenda kumarina kusatu na ambilira Era wana Uganda mwete keteke Tuetabe kumukolo guno Hmm, hivi gambo nino vye vyo Mbe wazokubanti mubadekoni Wazokubanti mula vye Bitulese, 
Uh, mungu sababa nkumire. Tujakua tudamu tuwa ye. Mwela ba.